Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Archaeologists say that the recent dry weather in the UK and Ireland has given them the best chance since 1976 to detect new historic sites from the air and so far they have not been disappointed. In Scotland, marks in crop fields have revealed numerous new Iron Age structures as well as temporary Roman camps. Dave Cowley from Historic Environment Scotland said, We depend on dry years to bring out the buried remains in the crops, and the newly revealed sites have certainly added to our ability to see into the past. Aerial surveys have been carried out across much of the Scottish mainland since the 1930s, and some of the new discoveries have been made by comparing photographs taken over the decades as different details show up in succeeding years. The process of unveiling the hidden archaeology will be familiar to any gardener, who might see the contrast in their own lawn between a path that has been recently turfed over and an old flower bed that is now covered by lawn. Cowley said, the area of grass over the old path, for example, will start to burn out sooner, while the former flower beds will stay greener. That's basically because there are different amounts of water and nutrients and so on. He continued, in either grass or arable crops, what we see from the air is the response of the crops to changes in the underlying soil depth and the moisture at that depth. Crops growing over ancient ditches will have access to more moisture and nutrients and will grow taller and lusher than any other crops in the same field, especially in dry or drought conditions. It then comes to archaeologists to interpret those marks. In Wales, more long-lost settlements have been found, including an unknown Celtic site in the shadow of a castle ruin near Tywin Gwynedd and has been identified by aerial archaeologist Toby Driver. There is also a medieval cemetery, new prehistoric settlements in Monmouthshire, along with a suspected Roman fortress. Driver said, Right across Wales, we have got some stunning discoveries. It is a strange and exciting thing to see. It has been an incredible three weeks. In Gwynedd, an additional Celtic settlement emerged on the valley floor between the castle ruins of Castel e Bear and Hillfort Crag e Adarin, and until the past few weeks, nobody knew it was there. Driver has also found the outline of a suspected Roman watchtower on the nearby coast. But arguably the most exciting find is the new Roman fortress and town between Caerwent and Caerleon, which appeared in these dry conditions. Archaeologists have had to get up into the air quickly as the new archaeology will disappear as quickly as they emerged when the wet British weather inevitably returns. In England, the weather has helped archaeologists have another look at the outlines of Venta Isonorum, the Roman British predecessor of Norwich, which was first discovered when RAF planes flew over it in the summer of 1928. One of the most visually stunning sights has been the outlines of what has been dubbed the Ghost Garden of Gawthorpe Hall, near Burnley in Lancashire. It was designed by Sir Charles Barry in the 1850s, but covered up after the Second World War. Now the National Trust staff have discovered previously unnoticed features that may actually predate the work of Sir Charles and could date back to as far as the 14th century. But it isn't just the experts who have been getting involved, but also the British public, who have reported the finding of a Bronze Age burial ground in a local park and long forgotten World War II air raid shelters in back gardens and schools. Over in Ireland is probably the most breathtaking discovery of all. A huge circular enclosure or henge monument was captured in a field by a drone flying over the UNESCO World Heritage Site in County Meath, close to the incredible site of Newgrange. The style of the henge and the area it is within leads archaeologists to believe that it dates back to around 2500 BC, about 500 years after Newgrange was built. Historian Anthony Murphy, who has been studying the archaeology of the Boyne Valley for many years, discovered the site. He said, the weather is absolutely critical to the discovery of this monument. I have flown a drone over the Boyne Valley regularly and have never seen anything like this. Murphy and co-researcher Ken Williams notified the Department of Culture and Heritage with their find, but whether or not the authorities will choose to dig is yet to be decided. As the images show, there are a number of circular enclosures, with the largest having a diameter of around 200 metres. Archaeologist Dr Geraldine Stout has also provided some insight, saying, I believe New Grange is just the centre of a much larger sacred landscape, and I think there was a whole series of facilities built for the pilgrims coming to New Grange in prehistory. Generally, we believe these henge monuments were built up to 500 years after the main use of New Grange, 
and, in a lot of cases, they actually enclose the area of monuments. The field of history and archaeology never ceases to amaze, and however advanced we are technologically, nature still holds the key to unveiling the true extent of our history. After the summer of 2018, one thing is for sure. British and Irish archaeology is thriving, and when we start to investigate these new sites further, who knows what exciting finds will emerge. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.